Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to be going over my Spanish American War Marine kit again, except this time I want to talk to you about where I got all the different items. For those of you that want to build an impression yourselves, are interested in turn of the century military stuff, or whatever. Um, most of this came from What Price Glory. If you don't know who they are, definitely check them out. They got a lot of World War One things, World War Two stuff. Um, not just American, British stuff as well, and they do have a pretty good selection of Spanish American Wars things. So definitely check them out, but that's where I got the bulk of my kit. So the Haversack, USMC stamped, uh, 1878 Haversack. The sling was, had it bought separately. The Haversack itself was 32 bucks. The sling, all their slings I think are about 15. And uh, yeah, 1878 blanket bag. Uh, this also came from What Price Glory. It was, um, gosh, how much was it? I think it was about 45 I want to say. 45 maybe 50 bucks. Uh, wasn't awful, but it's a really nice reproduction. The canvas is really high quality, definitely going to last a long time. And it's Span Am, so it's not like I'm going to be using this all the time like I do other time periods. The Canteen. I got a lot of questions about this canteen in my last video of this gear and I don't blame you because I searched through hell and high water to try and find a USMC stamped cover for Spain Am Canteen and for the most part they just don't freaking exist. I couldn't find them anywhere except this one place called Coon Creek Old West. and. That's where I got this one, and it's great. Like, it's a really nice canteen. You know, you saw me talk about it in the previous video. It did not come like this. It came machine stitched on the bottom, and you heard me talking about Spanish American War canteens were stitched from the outside all the way around, unlike the Civil War covers. But like, that was it. It it's a great canteen. Uh, it did. It came with the strap, also USMC stamped, and it was what? Like, it was seventy-five bucks. So, I mean, a little pricey, but <laughs> you can't really blame them because they kind of have a monopoly on the market because from what I could tell, they're the only ones that sell them. So, whatever. You'll have a lot easier time buying gear if you choose to do an army impression. Just saying. Um, but, yeah. Leggings, also what price glory. These were 45 bucks and well worth it like the leather's nice thick it's not a cheap leather the canvas is good quality and none of the grommets or uh, rivets or anything's coming out anywhere so it's it's good quality stuff these boots are actually the world war one ammo boots from what price glory from what i can tell no one really makes the service shoes from the 1890s for like a reasonable price, if any at all. And uh, WPG's ammo boots look close enough for government work. They don't have the toe caps, but I mean, they're underneath the leggings and they're black smooth side out boots. Like, they work. And they're, I don't remember what I paid for them. I think they might have been like 80 or 90 bucks for these boots, but they're really nice boots. Don't get me wrong. Um, so that's where I would go if you're looking for like the service shoe type boots. And if you can find an actual reproduction pair, I'd love to know because of course I would. Suspenders, you can get these from literally any, anywhere, like any, anywhere. These came from Fall Creek. I bought them when I kitted up for Civil War seven years ago. And uh, I don't use them for Civil War anymore, but they're very government uh, standardized type pattern and are pretty much the same pattern that were issued to troops in the Spanish American War. These were I think like 15, 25 bucks at the time they're probably a little bit pricier now but whatever the fur felt hat you heard me rant a little bit about this hat um, in the last video it's a really nice hat like really really nice hat like holy crap it's a really nice hat really comfy uh, this came from What Price Glory. It was 
uh, I think it was 40 or 50 something. Um, no, it wasn't. So <laughs> this hat was the, the most expensive item. Well, aside from the rifle, the most expensive item in this whole kit. This hat right here, very nice hat, was $215. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of money for a freaking hat. But it's a really nice hat, and it's going to last me a long, long time. So it's not like I have to. I bought a shitty hat, and I'm going to have to, you know buy another one sometime and uh so much for trying to monetize this video whatever um the shirt also came from what price glory the usmc wool campaign shirt uh that was 75 bucks it's a nice shirt and if if you guys have been are already reenactors or have been reenactors or have been tracking the channel for a while you've learned by now that reenacting can be a little expensive sometimes but feed your obsession whatever um, if you got the money you got the money if you don't and you're really obsessed you'll make yourself have the money because that's just how we are <laughs> um, the trousers are also what price glory these were um, 70 60 something I think maybe like 65 bucks and they're not like a hundred percent wool. They're kind of uh, they're like a synthetic almost, but they are like mostly wool, and they're a lot softer if they're than if they're a hundred percent wool. No one's no one's really gonna know the dif difference unless you're like a stitch Nazi and care that much about your Spanam impression. You can pay top dollar for a really nice pair of hundred percent wool trousers, but. I didn't these work the uh, 4570 cartridge belt as well as the uh, crag belts they sell both of them at what price glory they were I think this was about 45 bucks and um, it's it's a nice belt it is um, or actually no this was like 60 bucks but um yeah it's a nice belt what price glory yeah the rifle, check your gun stores or gun broker or arms list has a lot of good rifles on there um, for crags or trap doors. Good luck finding a uh, Lee Navy rifle. If you do, it's probably going to be like through the roof expensive. But uh, this specific trap door, I got a Kittery Trading Post in Maine for 600 and it's original. So yeah the poncho shelter half and wool blanket are all carryovers from civil war they all came from fall creek celery for relatively cheap but like i said prices have gone up over the years so they're probably a little bit more expensive now um all three of them together would probably run you uh 150 160 bucks maybe closer to 200 now um but that's how it goes um that's that's just about it uh, oh the historically accurate eagle globe and anchor for marine impression that is a reproduction i found on ebay and i was the only one bidding on it and got it for 10 bucks and it's a really nice reproduction solid brass accurate i like it it was good i was happy so those little things you, it's going to take some hunting but if you get eBay, eBay savvy, you should be able to find them no problem. So that's it for now, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you want to see any more specific videos because I do check the comment section from time to time. So let me know. See you next time. Bye.